So we're just here on the Streetly Sutton Coalfield border and uh, Colin you, you're sitting there with a couple of pictures of your your beloved wife Irene. That's right. Let's just zoom in there. You were together for how many years Carl? I'm, I'm caught into marriage 61 years. 61 years and she sadly Irene passed, away, passed last away, year. away last year. June the 15th of last year. She was the love of my life. Yeah. And the the reason we're here and doing a story is that you've been a you've, sadly you've been a victim of what people call a, a distraction theft. That's right. So just fill us in on what happened, well, Carl. You somebody the, somebody come and rang your door. Well, it, it was a start off with I was sitting in the window there, looking at some pictures of my family, grand, great grandchildren, yeah. and grandchildren, and he came to the door. He hadn't been to anybody else's door down the road. Yeah. And he came. The door was locked, and I, I said to people, make sure you keep it locked. And uh, he said, I said, what do you want, what do you want? He said, I'm working for 7 Trent. Yeah. I says, no, I says, uh, I said, have you got any identification? And uh, he says, it's in my pocket. I didn't pursue it anymore. I just took his word as that, Yeah. which was the wrong thing to do. And I said, I, begged, I said to people, that when anybody comes and says that, it's in my pocket. Tell them to get it out. Yeah, see I said, right or there. better still, phone up the people that yeah. they're talking about. I said, say to them, stay there and I'll phone up who it is. Yeah. But it was the seven Trent or the gas, anybody. I said, and you'll find it, they'll scarf I said, but it came in, left my front door wide open, and uh, normally I follow people in and then I shut the front door, but he followed me in. Went into the kitchen and he was running the hot water. And I said to him, I said, that's the hot water you're running. Oh, he said, I don't know which is hot and cold. I said, so he changed, he said, turned that up and put the cold water on. I says, and I then faced him talking to him. He was asking me about what my wife had died from yeah. and how long she'd been dead. And uh, you know, I heard the so, door go. And he said, oh, it's only the front door, he says. He says, and, and, he said, and that was his complex going upstairs. So unbeknownst to you, he's keeping you busy in the kitchen right. while his mate's upstairs and, and, and why, ransacking why, there. Why he was doing that, his mate was upstairs. They were, he was phoning down to him yeah. and, and saying how long he was going to be. Yeah. And uh, he'd done that twice. And um, he went upstairs, he emptied a, a box yeah. with three and a half grand in. And, and people think, well, why you have three and a half grand in there? It's, I've just had an operation on my knee and I couldn't get down to the bank. And you, your son's just able, so some of that money would have been his, his benefit money yeah, as well, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's my son's benefits money yep. and my pension money that's gone. And is this the box here, Carl? One of the boxes yeah, that they raided? The, yeah, the boxes yep. that they raided. They, all, they also took uh, my wife's wedding ring and uh, I treasure that ring. Yeah. That was, you know, that's part of my wife and uh, I'd like it back. I'd like that back. That's something that just it's, it's, money, it's money, a, yeah. That's unplaceable. You, you can't replace that anywhere. Yeah. You know, it, it's never going to buy another the wedding ring. It doesn't replace the one that she wore. How has it me. left you, you feeling then cold? Does it, does it make you feel like you, you can't me, trust people as much? You've got to be trust, more guarded. No, I can't trust people now. Yeah. I mean, I've always been wary of people. Yeah. But I can't trust them at all now. Yeah. But, um, if anybody else, and I'm going to say to people, don't open the door. Leave the door shut while they're out there. Ask them where they're from. If they've got identification, just look at the identification. If they haven't, and they say where they're coming from, you then check with the people. Yeah. Whether it's gas, electric, uh, water or anything. And if you say to them that you're going to phone up and speak to them, you'll find that they'll go away from your door. Yeah. They will go, because they know then that they're telling you a lie. Yeah. But I've got no faith in people now that come to the door, even even if they've got a badger. Yeah. I'm not very happy with them people. Yeah.